In this video, we'll be covering how to merge graphs in Origin. Here we have five graphs of data in our folder and would like to merge three. When we open the merge dialog, by default, Origin will show all open graph windows in the active folder. There are also other options such as All in Project, which allow us to merge our graphs in all folders in our project. Because we only wish to select a portion of the graphs in our folder, first we must choose Specified to activate the Graph Input box. Then we'll click the ellipses button to open the graph browser, where we can add, remove, and reorder graphs. We can also directly delete graphs and reorder them in the list in the Merge Graph window itself, as the graph list is an editable text box. With each change, the preview window on the right will always update accordingly, indicating how the final graph will appear upon merging. As graph windows are merged, they become layers in the resulting graph. In this case, we'll set the number of rows to 3, and the number of columns to 1, to stack the graphs. And check the Link Source Graphs tick box, so if we resize or reposition any one layer, the others will resize reposition with it as well. Further down the dialog, we can also change page settings and spacing between layers. For this graph, we'll set gaps between layers to zero, and check the Show Axes Frames tick box. With these settings, Origin will automatically hide labels in the graph's middle axes. Elements like labels and legends are handled by the Scale Mode setting under Scale Elements. By default, this is set to Auto, which means each layer will follow the original graph's settings. However, due to differences between plots, Sometimes the automatic setting may leave labels and other elements with a variety of sizes. To set all elements to the same size, we'll need to change this setting to fixed factor, in this case giving it a value of 1. To differentiate between these graphs further, we can also add alphabetic or custom labels for each source graph. As you can see, legends for the three graphs are initially identical. To illustrate the differences between them, the legend must also be updated to show the worksheet names. Sometimes we may want to merge graphs that are embedded in workbooks. For example, whenever you perform a linear fit on a set of data, there are fitted curve and residual plots embedded in the result sheet. To attach these to the original data, we can select Edit, Merge Embedded Graphs, or alternately use Graph Merge Graphs. Again, since we only want two embedded graphs, we need to choose Specified first, and then remove those graphs we don't want to merge. One of our source graphs is already multi-layered as well, and for this reason we'll check Treat each source graph as a unit, to make sure all four layers are treated as a single unit with all linking kept between them. Were this to be left unchecked, then all layers from the source graph would be handled individually. In this instance, we won't check the linked source graph's tick box, so the fitted curve plot will not be linked with residual plots. After merging our graphs, we can see the residual plots are still together, and resizing one also resizes others while resizing the fitted curve plot will not affect the residual plots. This has been a brief introduction to merging graphs in Origin.